review of the Boss AR 1500M with a pile 6 inch subwoofer. Uh, 30 amp fuse at about 7% loss. This amp should make about 240 watts of uh, power. So we're going to keep it turned down. This says 600 watts, but uh, per the uh, paperwork, it is about 100 watts. So big difference. But we're ready to go, and we're going to wire this up on a DC power source and see if it won't fry like the other boss amp. We're doing a uh, burn-in test, of course. You won't uh, hear anything because it's in a box, so it moves, but of course the air from the back side is going to the front side. Much better than the other amp. The other amp smoked out after about five minutes. Notice the gains on this are pretty low. Like I said, it's got a 30 amp fuse and uh, I'm estimating this thing will put out about 240 watts max. So, not a lot of power. I did separate, there's the 30 amp fuse. I separated, of course, my ground from my positive by linking different length wires so they wouldn't touch. But there it is. Have to ensure that we keep this low enough on the four wheeler where we don't draw too much power because we have a small electrical system. But we we make enough base where you can actually hear it. Review of a uh, Powell six and a half inch sub with the Boss AR fifteen hundred M amp, one of block amp. Speaker and amp have been running for about an hour, and. Uh, no smoke from the amp. Good thing, no smoke. It's uh, getting a little warm. It's not really that warm. I can still touch it. It's much warm to the touch. We're pulling about two, three amps. Of course, you won't hear much sound. I could probably put this down here. And you see the movement. Looks just like one of them videos. Well, oh, we just changed songs. Oh, this is a 20 hertz violation. Let's see what it does. I've got this, I'm not going to crank it up where it's just distorting, I'm just burning things in. I think that's stupid just to hear it just flutter and freak out. But there's the close-up. And uh, we can see, we can put this right here. Get some, of course, I've got the mic right in the speaker, but you'll see the peaks. Of course, it's not going to, it's going to respond completely differently. And a, uh, a box. We're thinking about building a sixth order bandpass box for a four-wheeler. I think it's going to take me about two cubes of space, though, for a six-inch sub. There's the 
video. That's what it should be doing. vibrating on the table now. Okay, that's enough. I totally forgot that this had uh, dual voice coils. I was looking at the back, I didn't even notice the other coils. So I have it wired at the 2 ohm mono and uh, we're gonna see, we're not pulling, we're pulling barely an amp of current and we're getting some good excursion. We've got the uh, frequency set to cut off at 35 hertz and I've got the gain about halfway up but the volume on my tablet is pretty much all the way down yeah so I think it'll be fun it's gonna continue uh, it was playing for about an hour and a half just wired it at uh, 2 ohm mono load of course it's a mono amp and going to see if it burns up now <laughs> <laughs>